Google's Nano Banana Image Generator is incredibly impressive. I've been doing a ton of testing with it, and I want to share with you just how creative you can be with this model. It's quite unbelievable just how good it is. And I guarantee you there will be some examples in this video that will surprise you. So let's get into it. Nano Banana is available on a lot of different websites. I'll leave a link to some of them down below. I've been using Google Gemini and Higgsfield to create my images. I like using Higgsfield as I'm able to take my images and turn them into videos using their top video generators available. Feel free to use whatever site that you prefer. Using Nano and Banana is as easy as adding in an image or images and then using the right prompts with it. It's really as easy as that. I'll make sure these examples are quick and easy to follow. So to start off with, let's have a look at changing clothes. All you have to do is find a piece of clothing that you want to change into. And as you can see, it does an incredible job at fitting the clothing onto the person. I actually created these jackets in Mid Journey. Nano Banana's done a really good job at making it look consistent and have that same material as the source image. I even tried it with some knight's armor and it absolutely nailed it. It's incredible at removing objects. As you can see here, I put remove the fish from the photo, and while it did a good job of it, I wanted to keep his hands in the same position. So to do this, I just added into the prompt, keep the man in exactly the same pose. I did a similar thing for this man drinking, and I was really impressed with this image, as it's removed all of their drinks, but kept their hands exactly how they would be. And I've removed these ugly power lines from the image, which is really impressive as these power lines are quite intricate, but it's managed to take them out perfectly. If you don't like your background, then just prompt it to whatever you want to change it into. So as you can see on the left, I've got a still image from the Joker film, and I prompted it to change the background to a roller coaster ride. I was really impressed that it actually put the clips in around his shoulders, and it actually does feel like he's on the ride. Character consistency is always on the top of people's lists, and Nano Banana absolutely nails it. So I've got my character here in his yellow banana tracksuit, and I want to put him into different scenes. So I just put into the prompt, keep this character's look identical, but place them in a coffee shop. And the result looks great. He looks exactly the same as the reference image, and I wanted to see how well it would deal with a more complicated scene. So in this one, I put the character getting dental work done while sitting on a dental chair. And I'm really impressed with how well it's put the character into this scene. And here's a couple more of him chilling out in the cinema and pretending to be a Jedi. I would definitely recommend Nano Banana for creating consistent characters. It's going to be incredible for product advertising. So I've got two input images for this one, and then in the prompt all I put in was put the smartphone into the hand. And in this one I wanted to replace the drinks can with a Coca-Cola bottle. And again, I'm incredibly impressed with how realistic it looks. And I couldn't resist making a banana necklace. I could definitely see this being used by creative professionals when making their product ads. You can go from young to incredibly old. So I put in, make this person look like a baby with natural aging effects. It's very creepy, but it's made me look like a giant baby. Now, this is a sign of things to come for me. It's done a great job at adding a natural aging effect. Now, if you want to do a bit of time traveling, I've turned myself into a music artist from different eras. So in this one, I'm in a band from the 1950s. I then go through the 60s and 70s. We got the 80s and 90s. As you can see, it's managing to nail those characteristics and aesthetics from that time period. And then we're into our 2000s. I even prompted it for the year 3000, and it just created this crazy futuristic image of me. Nano banana, it's a fruit sensation. Nano banana, a tiny taste creation. If you need to edit your scene, then nano banana is the way to go. Now this is going to be an incredibly powerful tool for interior designers, as I've got this really old, dilapidated looking room, then I prompted it for turn this room into a refurbished, empty modern room. And it's done it perfectly while keeping the dimensions exactly the same. Then I added in a modern sofa and some artwork and plants, added in some mood lighting at night, and unfortunately I got a hole in the ceiling, which then caused a major leak. 
Nano Banana makes it extremely easy to change between different art styles. So as you can see here, I've tested it with three different art styles from N64 graphic style to Picasso and Van Gogh. It's managed to do these styles perfectly while still keeping the composition of the initial image. Another really cool thing that you can do with styles is doing select parts of the image in a certain style. So in this one here, I've got the pizza. So I said make the pizza look like a hand-drawn illustration while keeping everything else in the image exactly the same as the original photo. As you can see it's made a really nice looking cartoon pizza but the hands and everything else are in the original realistic style and I think it's a really interesting look. And in this one here I even changed it to a kind of kids drawing style. And changing the weather is now easier than ever using Nano Banana. So taking this shot of New York, I've turned it into a blisteringly hot day in summer. And here we have heavy rain and thick snow. Nano Banana does some really nice little touches. Like in the rain image, it's given people some umbrellas. And here we have thick fog and a sandstorm. I really like how these weather effects change the lighting in the shot as well. If you don't like the color, then change it up. So let's say I want to change the color of this car. Well, I just prompted it with repaint this car in banana yellow and shiny chrome pink. My favorite one, I prompted it with repaint the car in matte black, and I think it looks pretty awesome. It nailed that diffused matte material look. If the lighting's not quite what you want, then just dial it into what you really want. So in this example here, I wanted to change the scene to nighttime. So I just prompted it with change the lighting to night. This is a great way if you want to create day for night shots. It works really well at changing text. So I created this Atomic Gains neon sign and then I changed the text, but it still manages to keep the same look of the text as well. This could be really helpful if you need to make edits on text after you've already created the image. Creating different camera angles is going to help with fleshing out your shots to make it seem like you've got multiple cameras. So I wanted to see an aerial view of this New York street. So I prompted it with change of this ground level shot to an aerial bird's eye view. And it looks great. I did the same with the shot in a restaurant. So if you cut between these shots, it will seem like you've just got multiple camera angles. And I've got my happy fisherman with his catch of the day. Have fun with turning people into different characters. So I've got some film stills here and I've turned Timothy Chalamet into a elf. And Christian Bale's rocking that look as well. He also looks pretty good as a hobbit. And I changed Josh Brolin from being an elf to an orc. I think these look really good as it keeps the lighting from the original image to make it feel like a natural replacement. Do you have any old photos that are damaged? Well, Nano Banana does an incredible job at fixing them up. So I had this damaged photo image, then all I put into the prompt was restore this damaged vintage family photo. And it's fixed it up perfectly. And one of my favorite use cases is taking old black and white photos and adding color to them. So I've prompted it with color in the image and make it look modern. It's done an exceptional job at figuring out what's in the image and coloring it appropriately. It's managed to get natural skin tones, and still have that kind of vintage vibe to it. This example here, I've colored in this gentleman. Then I wanted to take it a step further and I placed him into a cafe. I hope this isn't too hot. Then you can take it a step further and modernize them in whichever way you want. So I wanted to give this man a new car, so I just updated it for him. And it's managed to place this sports car seamlessly into the shot while making it feel like it was actually there. I've been really impressed with how it handles materials. So using my photo of a banana, I prompted it with change the banana into a marble material and then turned it into water and a glass banana. And it seems to understand materials really well. Like in this one here, you can even see the glass reflections on the wooden table. It works really well with turning skin into different materials as well. It's very impressive when working with reflections. So using this dog image, I prompted it with turn the floor into a mirror. I'm really impressed with how well it's mirrored the dog in this image. And I even created a shattered mirror effect as well, which looks incredible. Now let's have a look at logos. So I changed this Jaguar logo by prompting it with change the logo to say Atomic Gains instead of Jaguar and change the animal head into a chrome banana. 
To be honest, it looks like a professional 3D render. And in this one, I changed the Ferrari logo into a dragon and banana. You can even use your own sketches as references. So I did this very simple sketch of two characters fighting. Then when used with reference with the two characters, it managed to put the characters in the same pose as my simple drawing. This is gonna be very powerful for creating really complex poses. It works really well at turning things into comic strip styles. It even added in some text and a comic book panel rectangle around it, which I think is a really nice touch. It's great at adding a sense of speed into action shots, so I prompted it with add loads of motion blur trails to the person running fast. This is what I call crowd control. So I prompted it to remove half the people from this busy scene. Then I did it again and it removed more people. And then for this one, I wanted to create that scene where one person is in focus with everyone else out of focus. And it understood the prompt perfectly. You can use it to change the breed of animals. So I had this image of a pug and I said transform the pug into a husky breed. And that jacket looks a little snug for that husky. And here I changed the dog into a white wolf. It's incredible how well it sticks to the original image. And I wanted to make sure the white wolf was playing safe in the water. So I added in a rubber ring. It's perfect for replacing objects. So I just said replace the box in his hand with a golden banana. And it's even added some really nice reflections onto the golden banana. In this one I prompted it to make the burger look fresh, appetizing and steaming hot. It's made it look more vibrant, added in the steam, and it definitely looks more appetizing. And from there I prompted it to create a deconstructed shot of the burger, with each ingredient floating above one another. It's really smart how it could see the ingredients in the burger and create this really stunning deconstructed shot. And when using first and last frames for a video, it looks incredible. You can even use Nano Banana to create your professional headshots. As you can see, I've prompted it to put him in a professional setting with professional attire. It's also great for testing out new hairstyles. This is a great method if you need to make selective edits. As you can see with the image on the left, I did a really basic brush mark over the eye area of where I want the glasses to be placed. And for the prompt, I just said replace the red brush area with the glasses. And it's placed them on her face perfectly, also keeping the same style as the glasses image I gave it. This method is great for setting up your composition. So I use these three images as reference. And as you can see with the image on the right, I've made a very basic mock-up of where I want things to be positioned in the final image. And Nano Banana nailed it with the exact composition that I wanted. It's great for removing certain items. So I wanted to remove Batman's mask, so I just prompted it with remove the mask. And while it's not Robert Pattinson, I think it still looks really good. You can also have a lot of fun with adding different characters all into one scene. So I added in multiple images and prompted it with they are all taking a selfie while having a group hug outside in the sun. I'm really impressed as it feels quite natural and has just got a really good aesthetic to it. You can even use it for marketing. So I just gave it my basic photo of a banana and I prompted it to convert this product photo into a sleek marketing advertisement. Now, while it's not mind blowing, it's still pretty impressive how it took my really bad photo of a banana and made a pretty basic but good advert from it. This one's really impressive as I used that car image where you couldn't actually see the whole car, but Nano Banana actually produced a pretty professional looking marketing advert poster for it. I'm really impressed with this one. You can even use it to make your photos look better. So I've got this aerial shot here and it's quite overexposed. So I prompted it with make the lighting more even and make the contrast of the image better. And while it's a very subtle change, I think it's done a fantastic job at making it feel like a better looking image. Now this tip is really impressive. So I went into Google Maps, put a red pin down in Paris, took a screenshot of it, then uploaded that into Nano Banana and prompted it with draw a ground view of the red pin. And it came back with the Arc de Triomphe, which was exactly where I placed the red pin. 
And if you want to get more information on that image, I prompted it with you are a location based AR experience generator. Highlight the point of interest in this image and annotate relevant information about it. To be honest, I thought this wouldn't work, but it came back with this image and it's highlighted the building perfectly and even given me a box with some information about the building. This is a really interesting way on how to use Nano Banana. And this is a good test to see how smart it is. So I said create an image of a chalkboard in a classroom with three chalk drawings. A cherry, banana and watermelon. Under each write the most repeated letter and its accurate count. For example, R2 for cherry, as it has two R's in the name. And the image is perfect. It's got the correct number of letters in each fruit and I'm just really impressed that it was able to make this. So I hope you liked those examples, and if you have any of your own to share, then please leave them in the comments down below. I believe we're only scratching the surface with what's possible with Nano Banana, so I'm really excited to see where things go with it. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I will be releasing more videos like this in the future, and feel free to check out some of my other videos. My name is Jack, and I will see you in the next one.